Hey everybody, it's Brian Beeler and welcome back to the Storage Review Lab here in Cincinnati, Ohio. As you can see, we've got another server in. Uh, it's been raining servers lately, which is great because we love to see these things as we think about regular enterprise use cases for servers as well as uh, the emerging opportunity with software-defined storage, object store, Ceph storage, all sorts of other fun things that we're seeing uh, take shape in traditional server form factors. So this guy, as you can see, is a 2U server, 24 bays across the front. Uh, they're all NVMe, which is great. So this is really a high performance capable server. Intel second gen Xeon scalable inside. And let's see what we've got going on for storage. We'll pop this guy out. Looks like we're working with Micron's NVMe drive, the 9300 series. So we should probably have 10 or 12 of those in here. And that'll drive some impressive I.O. for sure. On the front, pretty standard look from Gigabyte. A couple USB ports over here to connect to the box for management. And let's uh, go ahead and swing this thing around to the back and see what we've got going on back there. So spinning around the back, we can see a number of things. First off, Gigabyte's put two uh, SATA SAS slots on the back. So we'll be using those for boot. Uh, it's great because you don't have to give up one of your NVMe bays on the front, which would be a waste for boot duty. Uh, you could do a little RAID 1 group there with a couple low-cost SATA drives or SAS, whatever you have around or, or suits your needs, uh, and that's pretty great. Uh, Gigabyte's got a pair of 1600 watt power supplies in this system, uh, so those will be needed for all the NVMe drives up front, which can draw a little bit of power. And then we've got your standard uh, full height expansion card slots in the back. Uh, there's an OCP slot here as well for those that are into the uh, open compute engagement. And then uh, your standard one gig NICs on the back with management port. Now we've gone ahead and added already, you can see in the top slot here, the Melnox Connect X500 gig card. So we'll be using that and connecting it up to our uh, high-speed Ethernet fabric to be able to drive the maximum performance out of this box. All right, let's pop this lid off and see what's going on underneath. So Kevin's gone ahead and populated this with a couple components already. We already mentioned the Connect X5 card in the back for 100 gig. That'll be fantastic. There's a number of extra uh, slots available for additional networking or whatever uh, suits your, your needs. Underneath these heat sinks, we've got Intel 8280s. Those are the second gen scalable that make this system compatible with Intel's persistent memory, if you want to go that route. Uh, clearly in this configuration, we've just gone with uh, standard RAM, uh, 12 sticks of 32 gigabyte, 2933 uh, clock speed. So we should be in good shape from a performance testing perspective. Uh, you can see all the cabling coming through. This is all to support the NVMe drives up front. And these are split out in various cards and PCBs in the back just to be able to take advantage of the PCIe lanes most efficiently. And Gigabyte also has modular fans here. These are nice little quick release, slip out, slip in fans that uh, are fully adjustable uh, within their management applications, uh, again, depending on the need. So this is the system. We're going to put the lid back on, get them in the rack, and uh, see what it's capable of.